four tornadoes touched down in Arkansas and Louisiana, as severe storms continue to sweep across country originally appeared on ABC News. Geo.com A week after tornadoes killed 23 people in Alabama, four twisters touched down in parts of Arkansas and Lewis on a Saturday, as severe weather continues to sweep across the country. One tornado hit Prairie Country, Arkansas, while another struck Houston in Caddo Parish. Strong wind gusts caused across the entire state of Arkansas with some reaching 60 miles per hour in some areas. A few homes in nearby Keough, Arkansas, were damaged by the tornado. Only minor injuries were reported at this time. A tornado watch was still in effect Saturday afternoon in Arkansas, Missouri, Mississippi, and Tennessee, however. Storms had already produced wind gusts approaching 80 miles per hour in western Texas early Saturday morning with at least 23 reports of damage. New winter weather advisories have been issued for parts of the Northeast as well. Heavy snow will move through the Dakotas during the morning hours on Saturday and will reach into Minnesota and Iowa during the day. Snowfall rates will reach 1 to 2 per hour locally, with gusty winds. Additionally, severe weather will quickly intensify and organize Saturday morning through parts of the south with rather robust cells forming mainly in Louisiana, Arkansas, and Missouri. Strong damaging winds, hail, and a possible tornado are all possible. However, as the front moves into parts of Mississippi, Tennessee, and Kentucky during the day, there is a possibility for tornadoes during the middle of the day and early afternoon. If tornadoes develop, some could be strong. The threat is highest in the enhanced risk region from western Alabama to southern Illinois. Meanwhile, heavy snow will spread farther into the upper Midwest Saturday night, including parts of Wisconsin. Heavy rain will develop from Chicago to Cincinnati as the storm slides east. The severe weather threat in the south will diminish substantially during the Saturday evening hours. On Sunday morning, precipitation will be moving toward the northeast. It could initially start out as a burst of snow before sunrise with snowfall rates of 1 inch per hour from Minnesota to New England. Photo, tornadoes, hail, and damaging winds are all possible, especially in western Tennessee and northern Mississippi. ABC News, warmer air should quickly move in and change the snow terrain across much of northeast. Accumulations should remain pretty limited from New York to Boston. However, there could be a couple of spots in land from Hartford, Connecticut, to Springfield, Massachusetts, to Albany, New York, that have a decent chance of picking up 2 to 4 inches of snow. In some of the more rural and elevated parts of New England 6 inches could quickly accumulate Sunday. Meanwhile, snowfall totals in parts of Minnesota could exceed a foot of snow locally. Photo, heavy snow will move into upstate New York and northern New England on Sunday. The storm is also pulling up warmer air from the tropics into parts of the southern U. S. Temperatures will briefly be at least 10 degrees above average ahead of the cold front Saturday in the south and then locally 10 to 20 degrees above average in parts of the southeast on Sunday.
The brutal cold air does not make a strong return in the wake of this storm in the coming week. Another fairly potent storm, with another severe weather threat, looks to develop for the middle of the week and will likely bring a similar temperature set up to much of the central and eastern U. S. Photo, snowfall will be heaviest in Minnesota, with a few inches also possible in northern New York and New England. ABC News, all of this a sign that the atmosphere in the northern hemisphere is responding to more direct sunlight as we head toward the official start of spring.